Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello everybody and welcome to week eight of season two of WWE 2K24, my GM mode. Uh, we are having a blast here going through our seasons. A.B. Kelly, good to see you here. K.J., good to see you as well. Good to see everybody here in the live Twitch chat. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, we do record these live on uh, Twitch following AEW Dynamite and Collision uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, with the subsequent shows showing up every uh, Friday and Tuesday, so you never get to miss a day before the next one comes up. So... Hope everybody's doing well, AB Killer. Like I said, I hope you're doing great right now. Uh, end of July, we're we're getting set up for some good stuff. And speaking of good stuff, let's get into this week uh, eight here because I'm in a position that I haven't been since I think week three of season one. I got scooted back down to second place uh, last week because well. We're having a rough time trying to establish some people. So I think I literally had everybody on my last show be a bruiser in a match. Heel bruisers versus face bruisers all over the place. So the show grades weren't exactly as high up as they should have been. So, but we got a chance to make up for that here. And we're, uh, we're getting ready to set up for the SummerSlam PLE. So... If you guys have an idea about what you want to see booked, let me know right here or let me know in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. But let's get into this here. All right, so uh, because of the way things are saved, last time we were here, you guys got a chance to see this. Everything we had to do, we had to... Uh, They, they make us go through our texts and our dialogues with everybody. So last week, we had Ivy Nile and JC Jade show up, both complaining that they want a main event match. To which my answer is the one that I always give. Screw it, we'll do both of you then. Yes, I know that sounds horrible, forgive me. So what we're going to do for our main event here... We will set up a tag team match. We'll check the stipulation later, but we'll give JC Jane and then this other team. This is the team they're feuding with, but let's go with Ivy Nile and Ava Moreno, who is their set tag team here. Just for the hell of it, let's put the titles on the line because this is, you know, main event. I don't expect the titles to change at all. Uh, what else did we have for stipulations here? Promised MVP a match against Ilya Dragunov within three weeks. Well, the world hates a coward. Dragon Dragunov's stamina is not the best right now, but you know what? You know what? It could be a lot worse. Let's put it that way. So now from here, let's take a look at the feuds we got. We got Jaded Slugger. Okay, that's already... Got... Ah, Lynch and Jade are stale. Damn. All right, well, we're going to blow that off, I think, next week going into the PL. Now it's Scarlet. Guthrie and Hayes, I think Hayes has another week off. We gave him a shot at the spa. Or he just went. He didn't get a spa, so. Uh, Mysterio McDougal. Let's give those two a rivalry match in here. Let's check out the stamina. Who's got the most here?
Just trying to see if we have anybody that could go up. See this? I got bruisers everywhere. That's my problem right now. And no specialists. So if I can find some fighters, I think I might be okay here. Let's, uh, let's go shopping. So we do have the ability to buy this stage crew and this commercial ads. I'm going to wait because that won't give me any money for any promos or anything. Let's take a look at the talent scouts. Do we have any fighters here for female? So what we'll do, we'll set this to established. Gender female. Class fighter. So this will cost us 5,000 to find someone. Okay. So what do we got here? Dakota's only a level five. Zai Lee. Or we could bring back Pretty Ruthless. The only thing is, if we bring in Zai Lee, we get a little bit extra money out of it. Ah. <sighs> Okay, we got three faces, four, five faces. We got one, two, three, four, five heels. So we got plenty of he faces and heels. Ivy's in a match, Ava's in a match. I think I'll put. I think we're going to have to. Find a face to take on Trixie. Maybe we bring Brattleship Brittany in for only a couple. So if I bring her in and say, you know what? Maybe we do the five weeks or 49,000. We're bringing it into the season. It's 137, so that's a little much. Let's do the five-week thing with her, and maybe we could extend it a little bit. Or you know what? Let's... Okay, so we got two... You know, we'll bring her to the end of the next PLE, because we could definitely use her for a lot of matches, so... And we almost got her to level up, so... Welcome to the team, Brittany. Let's get you in a match. And I want to use Trixie here because that will match up. Now, this one could be a normal one. Ah. And maybe we'll do a triple threat. Let's just get bit. You know what? We haven't given ha Fallon enough work here lately, so. As she's waiting for her tag title shot, maybe throw her in there. All right, is there any. Hmm. We definitely could have a last man standing match here. We got the title match here. These two don't need an extra step. 
Yeah, the only stip they got is especially the steel cage, and that's the end of rivalry. So let's see what we can do with that. All right, promo time. Who's calling somebody out here? Let's get let's get this to a level four so we don't have to think about it. Advertising. Get the champ involved. And charity. Who's got, you know what, Billy's turning into a real positive for us here, so. That might actually be a good call here. Go with the slugger, absolutely. Bill, Billy has actually been uh, sort of a folk hero for us here. Her and uh, Ava, who's in our main event here tonight. Oh, I gotta keep Gunther off the show. What what does Triple H give me? Thirty XP. I might want to do that. Let's. Uh, Do a cell promo with Baron. Or do I want to do a call out with Baron? Or a, a training with Baron? You know what I might do? I'm actually going to switch this to a training one with uh, Cora Jade. I want to see if I can get her to a level 10. If I could do that. Uh, level 10 means she gets an extra bonus uh, in terms of her skill. She is going to be in my main event next week uh, as uh, she'll be taking on Becky Lynch for the women's title because I need to blow off that feud. I wanted to save it for the PLE, but unfortunately, uh, it's gone stale thanks to Paul Heyman and his damn cards. Okay, I think, is there any stipulation we could use here? How's the stamina here? 48, 49, 70, 69. I want to save them for the pay-per-view as well because Scarlet and Ivy have a huge feud, so... I'm going to probably do a tables match with these two. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's see the power cards here. Well... Cannot be used the week before a PLE or in week 25. Uh, so if you were here prior to the pay-per-view, the week before the last PLE, Adam Pierce decided to screw me. That actually might help him this week, though. So I think I might just... Instead of that, I think I might use the bargain bin special effects on him. So they look get get to look like a miniature organization. Good. Now, are there any power cards I could buy here? Morale booster, false count anywhere. This is a big one I'd like to have. Do I have I can't afford it. It's 80,000 bucks. But if you have a crappy show, you apply that card and you uh, basically don't lose anybody. <sighs> Screw it. We're not going to take it. We'll, we'll, we'll save our... Shut up and take it, Mike. Shut up and take it. Might have been a mistake, but you know what? We we don't have to worry about it. We got a pretty good show here. We don't need that here. It's whenever they use a power card on us that is going to make our card look like crap. That's when we got to use it. So 
I think we're pretty much set here. These matches are not going to be as good. You know what? Nope. We're going to we're going to move this back to our one on one. I just have a bad feeling about this. That'll be a tables match, two normal matches, last man standing. I think these two will get over because Brittany's popularity is up there a little bit. Yeah, I think all the world hates a coward. I think it's time for us to get to it here. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. And confirm booking. Let's do it to it. So we get to watch ours first, then we get to see what everybody else did here this week. So for this one here, MVP asked to be put on the card uh, against Ilya in the next three weeks. So so why the hell not? Let's do it now. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here today. We get to see what kind of caliber show we can put on here. But Ilya's been, Ilya's been a bit of an all-star for us here. He actually uh, had a hell of a match with Gunter two weeks ago. And now he gets MVP this week, who I guess MVP made a lot of waves here uh, last week. As uh, we had uh, MVP show up at Josh Barnett's Bloodsport and basically say that his contract with WWE is up, uh, coming to an end soon, and he wants somebody to fight, and he wants to fight Barnett at uh, at the next Bloodsport. Mark my words. MVP shows up. He ends up in a great match with uh, Barnett. Lashley comes out after. Lashley comes out and they re that's where they reform the Hurt Business. Because everybody talked about how the Hurt Business should have been the ones to, to run Raw Underground. Since we were talking about Shane McMahon earlier tonight. Sort of apropos. But yeah, MVP's actually made quite a bit, few waves. Dragonov on SmackDown or on Raw, sorry, he's been he's been in that intercontinental scene, but he's sort of like that third wheel. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at two hundred and fifty-nine pounds, Montez. As you can tell, uh, Dra Dragunov, as we were talking about him here, he's been having some great matches with Braun Breaker. He's been a great heater, just like the way Ricochet was a great heater at the time. They want to, don't want to give him the full pose, I guess. So this one is a last man standing match. Wanted to give it a favorite stipulation to these guys because they're the ones that, uh, that's one of their specialties. The, 
basically when it comes to 2k24 your opening and closing matches have to be your feature matches I will say this for SummerSlam we are going to have all stipulations open because we are going to have that uh, DiBiase card available and that's where we're going to play it because I want to I want to get at least a few of these cage matches out of the way here and finish things up with a few of our feuds. Oh, I love that fake out. Ref, are you going to count or are you going to, you know... Oh god, that sucked. An MVP just going to work right now. I guess he asked for the match. He should be, uh... Knee to the face. So yeah, they're not even attempting to do anything special here. I guess the referee will start counting when uh, they get towards uh, hitting the table or so. Oh, there we go. I got a feeling MVP is not going to like this situation right now. Oh, block the chair. Out of boy. Alright MVP, what are you doing? You could have grabbed that chair. What you looking for? Oh, he wanted his own special chair. Guess he didn't like that other one. Oh, blocked. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Powerbomb on the chair. He's getting up after that. That might be it. He's done. Wow. That is a quick one. It was a match specialty, so we should get a bonus, but I don't know what kind of score we're going to get on this. Three star, that's all we get out of those. Damn it. All right, so a three star. So this means the next match here has to be a two and a half or less. But we got a rivalry out of it. I can't complain if we get a rivalry. Courage Oh my god, did we get did we get her to a new level now? That would be pretty damn awesome if we got her up to level 10. Alright, so we got uh the mall cop versus the criminal. I don't know why, but this just turned out to be a great feud. Let's spectate this one here. And Clint McDougal is one half of the uh SmackDown Tag Team Champions along with his partner Stax Lorenzo. I didn't want to put two tag matches on the card. It just seems a little rough at times. But now that we have the rivalry set up with uh, Ilya and MVP, that's something we could ride with for a little bit. 
If I can work it slow enough, I should be able to develop it all the way to the paper to the PLE. So. Gotta love a Dominic gets doesn't have the music, so it just feels a little different. That's why I like Rollins on the card. That's why I like uh, when Cody's on here. He also gets uh, the crowd to do his music. All right, let's go. I, I appreciate this, but it takes forever to get through some of those intros. But well, we are flying through, right through right now. From Staten Island, New York, weighing in at 240 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Clint Mandogo. I love how his name bar says Mall Cop. Do you ever take a trip down the bound Yardborough Mall? Don't mess up the candy machines or steal any food cause it'll be a hard time. Be hard time. I stole these pants from the RCMP. But I'm just too smart, they will never find me. Dom trying to go for the ropes and McDougal says, nope. No way. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if that's how it ended, but Oh, miss the underneath. Oh, I love that. I love that move. That fallback setup here. This match is dirty. We got a dirty mall cop and we got dirty doms, so. Uh, Zodiac, have you had a chance to play much of 2K24? I'll be honest that the actual controls and me actually trying to play it is not very conducive to my abilities but I do know it's part of the summer sale right now so if you are willing to get it if you're looking to get it this has been one of the better additions that they've ha they've had in a while I unfortunately bought 20 and it was the biggest pile of dog crap in the world Twenty three was pretty cool. Twenty five was awesome. Or twenty four. I find this one's pretty awesome. You know it's a good sign when the first night that I'm on here, I have one of the developers show up here. Just to see all the bugs that have come out and whatnot. Yeah, it was cool. He, he actually followed up with me a couple times offline here, so. The only things I would change to make this a little bit more smoother would be the save points, basically. 
because literally you have to go past your... F you got to go into the week where you have to book your week before you can actually uh, select your... or to select the save. Ref, you get a count? My God, she must live in Saskatchewan. She's counting so slow. And I think McDougal won the last match they had here two weeks ago. Shot to the stomach, I like that. But, uh... No, I think eventually I might try a little bit of, uh... Fire Pro Wrestling as well. I know that, uh... I was talking with Adam about possibly getting a My Universe set up. But trying to book it consistently right now, like... There's a few... I, I gotta figure out what I want to do for uh, our 10-year anniversary here. Because while I just celebrated my four-year affiliate anniversary, Backbreaker... Backbreaker Video, Backbreaker Media, the whole conglomerate, we're celebrating 10 years uh, this January, so... Between the wrestling and the, uh, the wrestling, the gaming, how much we've expanded. January 1st, 2015 is when we started. We're going to, as a special, I'm planning to bring on uh, Andre C, who's our other OG here. Because it was him, me, and uh, Ryan Hamilton, who unfortunately passed away here uh, during COVID. We were all, the three of us originally started up. Had a bunch of friends that were involved as well. They would pop in for spot duty and whatever they did. They, they're really supportive, really helpful, really... Well, McDougal said no to that hurricanrana. Oh, I thought we were going to get a count out. You know, I think this match is going longer than our opener. Is Dom going for the frog splash? Looks like he is. Shucky ducky quack quack. We're done. No! We're not worthy. I think we might be in trouble here. Fisherman Buster. Setting up for his finish. Cross face off, oh, rope break. McDougal, you gotta know where you are. He's hulking up. At least he knew now to move the guy out of the way. There it is, now he's got it. Let the bell lock. And McDougal wins again. By submission of all things. Here is your winner, Dominic's gonna be pissed. He lost to him twice now.
What do we got here for a score? Please say this is not four stars. All right, two stars, I can live with that. So like I said, we just need a good match. We don't need a great match. Rollins only lost one popularity, but gave it 17 grand. That's good. All right, so somebody who's going to be making a lot of work here in the next few weeks. Battleship Brittany uh, making her re-debut here. She was uh, a feature in season one. And she'll be taking on Trixie Gambit, who we just signed. The popularity's in the toilet, but the matchup is good. So let's see how things go. What I might have... I was thinking there's a couple things we can actually do here to fix things up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the good old USA. Battleship. Well, we just found our uh, thumbnail for the video for this. Hashtag Britney's back. Oh, yeah, and she gets the Jericho pose, which is great. Hey, guys. What the hell is that? Yeah. I, I like the fact that Jericho's promo today was, yeah, I gave her to, that's right, I booked it. We, uh, we ended up getting uh, a one minute promo from Jericho tonight on Dynamite, which I think is all that he needed. It's all that he really needed. Just enough to remind us that he's still there. I really do laugh that, uh, sorry, I just read a quick note about the Olympics. They had to bring up, uh, somebody who just came out of the same river for the triathlon you're like yeah the water's not as bad as you say it is guys so i think with trixie in a feud already with billy i don't think we're gonna get I don't think we're going to get a feud established out of this, but. Big splash there. Like, Brittany, be careful. You got to get a lot of work going on here. But yeah, I think we could do some uh, character changes, some role changes. And I think we just got the option to turn Becky into a... Uh, turn her into a fighter, so... If we could do that with Becky, then I think we'll... I think we might be okay here for the next little bit. All I can say is any of our uh, characters, any of our characters that come in here that uh, have the ability to change over to a fighter, we're definitely going to be using some dollars to do that change. Trixie doing some work here. 
And Brittany just said, nope, we're not selling that. Brittany just not able to get out of the ropes. You don't get out of the blocks either here at this point. Big splash. Only a one cow. Brittany's got way too much energy for that, so. Brittany just said nope. Now working over the legs and the arms, just the general body abuse. Dragging over the corner. Brittany just going from pillar to post here. I like this. Into the backbreaker. Wheelbarrow slam? Yep, there we go. Sorry, Twitch has come up with a new interface for us here, so I'm just a little... Just watching as it goes on here to see a couple weird... A couple weird things pop up, pop, uh, pop up that I'm not used to. But I'm, I'm going to have to find a way to get that sub out so I can get my uh, three months of Apple TV myself. Oh, God. Turns it into a dominator. I don't know if Trixie's going to get up after that. What are you doing? You could have had the count out. Yeah, stupid. And you're supposed to be the baby face here. Off the ropes. Oh, blocked. Trixie making a comeback. Oh, reversal. Oh, here we go. Good morning, good evening, and good night. That's it. Great effort by Trixie, but yeah, Brittany comes in and just says, nope, we're not doing this. So Brittany wins in her, de her re debut here. In a one and a half star match. Ugh. Pain. That's what she did. She involved the pain game. That match had a lot to do with the popularity of the wrestlers, so. Billy with a charity promo, got us an extra 5,000 fans. 
yeah uh when we get to the report card at the end here i'll show you exactly why it's only one and a half they actually do a match breakdown it has basically that match had no business getting above three three stars period as we get to our main event here hey s2s how you doing tonight hope you're doing well Brittany wants to be a mainstay on your roster well I have to get her popularity up and the reason I picked her is she's at a level nine right now bought the game on a whim and totally trash at it well I'll be honest the actual gameplay that I do I am trash as well that's why I book stuff rather than uh play stuff so uh, we're in our GM mode here. I'm doing good. Life is good. We just had a great show of uh, Dynamite here, which we re which we uh, watched before we get into this. And now we're just getting into our main event for uh, our show here tonight. Uh, a tables match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Our tag team champions, JC Jane and Scarlett, taking on Ivy Nile and Ava Moreno. So... This match here started with an argument in the locker room coming up to me and wanting the main event. So let's uh, get to it here. Controls are significantly more complicated than the last time I played a wrestling game on the PS2. Uh, S2S, what system do you have? Here's a suggestion I have for you. And... I know the game's been crapped on a lot, but if you're not wanting a whole lot out of a wrestling game, like you want to just have some dumb fun for a couple hours at a time, pick up AEW Fight Forever. It has the exact same controls as the old uh, GameCube games. The only... Oh, so I'll wait till. From Tampa, Florida, one half of the women's tag team champions, JC Jane. Like, I know AEW Fight Forever actually got crapped on pretty good because of the, uh, the lack of depth in the game. But in terms of actual gameplay, hella fun. Hella fun, a lot of... Uh, a lot of quick minigame stuff. I do promise if uh, we go into universe mode, I will organize the tag teams better. I love how the crowd chats like that, but yeah, if, coming back from the break here. Uh, if you want, pick up AEW Fight Forever. You can get it usually pretty cheap right now. The controls are basically the same as your GameCube games and earlier games. There's just not a lot of depth to the game, so... Problem is, they're charging for every little add-on that they have for it. And... It just isn't worthwhile buying as a full price game like I did I bought it to support and it was not the smartest move in the world Scarlet gets extra TV time because she's a champion Tennessee, Ivy 
I do hope the champs do retain on this, but honestly, the, with the table physics, it can go either way on this one. And if and if it does end up going the wrong way, I'll use the other feud as a uh, a number one contendership kind of thing. And we'll find some other heel team to get together to take on Ivy and Ava. I do know I have some contracts coming up here, and if I have to let people go, I let people go. I know I picked up that card. Uh, basically, that get out of jail free card that I got, I, I picked up earlier. Just it was maybe not the smartest move in the world, but it's something I had to do. Hopefully we can get a power card, uh, power card uh, coming up after this season here. Champions are ready, challenges are ready. No rivalries, but definitely a lot of classes mixing up here, so. Ava just going to work on JC here. Oh, Scarlet's working over Ivy. A lot of people don't realize how good of a wrestler Scarlet actually is. She is actually a fantastic wrestler. Just always had a, uh, always had that appeal that, uh, well, as you can see right now, there's a certain appeal that just a lot of people were taken aback by. I was going to say, we're not finishing it this early, are we? We need to get a little bit... We, we need this at two stars or above. So we can actually have a good booking show. Uh-oh, JC's bleeding, I think. Oh, there goes the table. Got us the table back up again. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Look out! We got new tag champs. And Scarlet didn't believe it. All righty then. I, I told you guys, when it comes to the tables matches, they're always all over the place. Just because of the physics. But because of the title match and the bonus, we'll end up getting some extra credit out of that. So hopefully, there you go. Three and a half stars. Mission accomplished. It's actually shocked that we got new champs, but JC opened up her uh, mouth once again and 
Stuck her foot wide in it. All right, so now we got to check out what everybody else is up to here. You popped? <laughs> hey, you know what? It's it's always good to see that when uh, new get new champs show up, and then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure things out here. All right, our opener here for Raw: Carmella versus Shayna Baszler once again. Shayna Baszler wins. Feud's already to level four, so you can't get any higher. Chompa and Rude, I can't remember what that feud's at. Might be at a four still. Regular tag team match, no titles on the line. Your double champ, Holly Mo Molly Holly, with Bailey taking on Natalia Meachin. Three stars, rivalry grows. Strowman sucks at promos. Undertaker Jimmy Uso in a regular match once again. One, two, Jimmy's going to get killed every time. Oh, Jimmy won that one. Three and a half. Undertaker Uso, okay. Nothing for Shinsuke. Nothing. All right, Braun Breaker versus R-Truth in the main event. This one, if it was the U.S. champ versus one half of the tag champs. If this was real life, uh, Truth might be ripped in half literally in this one. Oh, well, Breaker wins again anyway. Three and a half. This is why I played that card on him next week. All right. Opening match for WCW. Orton McIntyre backstage brawl. All right, well, this is a five star right now, but this takes all your money out of it. McIntyre wins. Five star match, keeps the title. We are going to do one eventually, but I need the money for it. Well, I guess I could use that card for it, but. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, little promo to get himself over. George the Animal Steel versus. Jay Pierce. Steel should roll, really. Two. That's it. Ring. Steel wins. Two star, yeah. But there's a rivalry there. Captain Grog. Nothing there. WCW Tag Team Titles. The champions, Big E and Gargano. Taking on Finn Balor and Elton Prince. Finn Balor and Elton Prince win. New champs. Bigger rivalry. Everybody's getting these big numbers for rivalries. I'm actually surprised. And our main event here for the women's tag team titles in a TLC match. Raquel and Gigi taking on Alexa and Tiffany are the uh, top blondes here. But Gigi and Raquel retain in a five-star. Wow, everybody's picking it up here. And for ECW, the tag team titles on the line, Tyler Bate and Julius Creed taking on The Miz and Garza. Everybody's pulling four-star matches out the wazoo here. Piper Niven barely gets herself over. Vicky McLeod taking on Indy Hartwell. This should be a one-star match. I forgot, he gets an automatic boost for all women's matches because they don't have titles. Isla Dawn. Great outfit, horrible promo. Uh, Candice LeRae and Valhalla in a one-on-one -on -one match. One, two, that's it. Bring it. So Candice LeRae gets up to three stars and another rivalry expansion. Jody Garcia brings in some fans. The main event for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. Damian Priest versus Sheamus in a tables match. Well, Sheamus won the title in a tables match against Cena. Let's see what he does here. He's good with tables. And Sheamus is out for a month and a half. 
Oh oh. All right, you take care, S2S. Uh, thanks for popping in regardless. Love having you here, and uh, yeah, we'll, ch we'll check you another time here. All right, let's, uh, let's go check our report cards now. He punked out on that one, yeah. They're gonna have to play some power cards to do that, so. So I ended up with some good booking. Now let me show you here about this, uh, why it's a one and a half. It's basically an average of all these stars. There's no rivalry. There's no title match. There's no um, match specialties. Hometown, no bonus. Match type. It's a regular match, so it doesn't get any bonus. Class matchups, you get a bonus. Roles, because they were opposites, they do work out. Performances, fine popularity. They're going to be crap because they're, they're enhancements, so... Dodger baseball. Good to see you here. We're checking out a little uh, WWE 2K24 once again. But let's see here what we got for rivalries. Level one. She's got a level four in the tank. They got a level one. All right, let's see what else they got. Good booking across. They got threes and fours up the wazoo. Amazing Bucky by WCW, as always. And then level four. Is, they're getting ready for the PLE, too. So we got our own rivalries that are going to work out here. We just have to work on it a little bit. And Sheamus is out for five weeks. That's going to suck unless you got a couple power cards. All right. Now we get the big reports. We got a 98. We gained 34,000 fans. We're up to 151,000 in cash. So we're okay. We gained 92,000 because I kept the I kept the budget basic this week. We had to get that uh We had to get that power card. I think it was necessary. Then we got There's no yellow marks there, so there's nothing new here. In terms of news, 3064 and 151. And Raw's gained on us. So we're about 40,000 down, and we got a ton of money down right now. So, so Raw is kicking our rear end. They got a 127 on this card, and they're right on our tail now. And the problem is everybody's got a budget except for me. The only the only advantage I have right now is I have a million dollar card. I might actually be in last place right now or in third right now. I got the schooled one, which is going to help me get somebody up to a higher level. Oh, I'm still in second. Oh, it goes by Hall of Fame trophies. That's why. So the rankings that they give, which I think is still complete horse hooky. It goes by Hall of Fame trophies first, which I'll show you guys after we get through this next section here. Then it goes by fans. Then it goes by budget. So we have the smallest budget. We have the third place in fans now. Pierce is getting a big gain. He's going to have a little bit of a shot come up here uh, pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting here. But before we can move up, before we can save here, we have to find out what's going on next week. So uh, we'll let us save here at this point. So we're just going to continue on and see what we get to do up next time. Which for you guys watching on Twitch will be in about five minutes, but. I know, guys. All right, here we go. Birmingham, Alabama. All right, my contract's up. I'd be interested in staying another five weeks. So it costs twelve grand. I will definitely do twelve grand. Is actually a pretty good deal.
21 for another 10 weeks. You know what? I will keep her at 12 grand right now. All right, JC's pissed. Not happy losing my strap last week. As a former champion, I'm back to my rematch clause. I won a championship rematch against Moreno and Nile. Nobody else better get a shot of the women's tag titles. All right, well, we'll make it happen. Don't make me wait too long. I'm already going to swear gold around my waist. All right, fine. Scarlet, what do you guys say? Ava achieved me last match. I want a rematch in the next two weeks. Well, we're just going to have to give a rematch for the tag titles. All right, so let's see here what we have to do here. So they get a rematch for the tag tiles, which you can deal with. Oh, here's what I was going to show you, the challenges. So we got over 400,000 in the bank. We've done that already before. Promote three superstars to a new rank. We already did that. Book five shows using all match rules. Well, we'll get one of those in at S SummerSlam. Change the role of 10 superstars. Ugh. Spend 400,000 on... We got to get 54 more thousand on uh, power cards. So we only going to need a couple more. Surpass 600,000 in the bank. That's going to take a while. Spend a million or more on shows. We're about halfway there, so... Resolve five rivalries during a PLE. We got three more to go, which should be able to be cleaned up actually in the PLE coming up here in uh, just uh, two weeks time here. So let's get out of this. I need two of those in order to qualify for a Hall of Fame badge. And when we get back here next time, we're actually gonna get to upgrade Cora Jade. Cause she's moved on to a level 10. Is there anybody else that's really close? They go up in groups of five, so you're looking for like 19 or nine or... Fourteen, so uh, Fallon's pretty close. We're gonna have to get Fallon involved here as we go along as well, but... That's, uh, that's gonna be for our next show. Uh, for those on Twitch, stick around. We're uh, gonna be running here uh, week nine here just after a little break here in a few minutes but uh, for those on youtube thank you for checking things out once again if you like what you see here in terms of uh, our action please hit the thumbs up please give us a subscribe it always helps us out with adding to the channel uh, we do put these up every friday and tuesday along with some other playthroughs including uh, tears of the kingdom is currently at the time of this uh, recording as well as some fight stuff, some MLB stuff, all over the place. Hopefully going to be getting some new stuff in here soon, but... Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, just let me throw that link in there for you. Uh, it is, we have our group uh, YouTube show, but in the meantime, folks, I'll, I'll talk to Dodger Baseball about that momentarily here, but um, once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by, and remember... Be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.